Jeff Gerwich here with Modern Tactical Shooting. This video is all about shooting stance. Bottom line up front, it should mimic your fighting stance. That is your unarmed fighting stance. Now, the reason why I'm making this video, about two months ago, I was at a gun match and I saw a soldier competing and I instantly I knew he was a soldier, not because how he was dressed or haircut or anything like that. It was because of the super dismal shooting stance that he was using to compete with. Uh, it's not his fault, that's just how he was trained but I recognized it as the dismal standard army, you know, shooting stance that gets taught uh, more often than not in a lot of units. So I wanna address that in this video, pick it apart and give you my version of a shooting stance that will hopefully help you to become a better shooter. So let's go. Now, if you take a look at this picture here, the army loves to teach shooting stance basically feet parallel and lean way forward into the gun, putting your shoulders out past your hips with the idea of leaning forward into the gun is going to control recoil. This is actually completely wrong. What you're actually doing when you put your shoulders past over your hips, especially with body armor on, is you're placing you know, all that weight and strain on your lower back. Uh, back in Afghanistan, my body armor alone with ammo and water and a radio, I think weighed just over 35 pounds. So you can imagine wearing that all day long and leaning forward every time you want to take a shot can get old after a while. Not to mention it does nothing to actually help stabilize you uh, when you're shooting. Now I know what you're thinking, that picture, uh, because you're wearing ACUs, that could be as old as 2005. Maybe the Army's changed their ways since then. Here's a more recent picture, probably in the last, I would say five years of you know, the soldier again doing that extreme forward lean into the gun uh, with the idea of controlling recoil, leaning forward, you can manage the gun. Uh, and here is a video I found uh, that was dated March of 21, still showing the same thing. Basically feet parallel, comfortable distance apart is how people most, you know, most people call it and leaning forward into the gun, you know, in hopes of controlling that recoil. And also in this video, I don't even think he's shooting at anything. He's just going through the motions of stopping, turning, and firing down range. And in this other clip is from when the Army first adopted the SIG pistol. There you can see their feet are all parallel. Nobody's, you know, got a any sort of good deep stance, and they're not leaning into the pistol. Now I'm gonna show the problems with this, you know, feet parallel, extreme leaning into the gun and why it does not work. To do this, I've asked my son, Jernigan, my oldest son out of my four children. He is an avid MMA competitor. He knows all about a strong stance and you know being well-centered to help demonstrate by doing the army stance. And I'm going to pick it, pick it apart in this video right here. All right, so we're gonna talk about fighting stance. Now my son here, Jernigan, who's been training in MMA for what, almost 10 years now? Eight years, he's fought twice in the ring and done quite well. He, I'm going to talk him through what the Army has decided is the best shooting stance. So Jernigan, this is what I want you to do. Put your feet about shoulder width apart, par feet parallel. All right, I'm gonna give you this rifle. Go ahead and aim with it, and I want you to lean forward so you can absorb the recoil. Yep, slight bend in your knees. Uh, and this is how the Army thinks you should be shooting a rifle. Now, to test this, here's what I want to do. Let me take this away, keep that stance, put your hands together, now don't let me push you back. What? That didn't take a lot, what's up? I know, you need body armor on, that will keep you from me pushing you back. So take a quick break, he'll throw in some body armor, let's do it. All right, Jernigan, so this time you've got the body armor to weigh you down in the Army's shooting stance, so feet parallel. Take up that good army shooting stance, lean forward at the waist to absorb that recoil. What do you think, feel pretty solid? You got that body armor to absorb the recoil, right? All right, let me take this bad boy away. Put your hands together. Don't let me push you back. You got body armor on. That should be holding you in place. Isn't this a good fighting stance? No. All right, we'll check out Jernigan's fighting stance right here in a second. All right, Jernigan, this time, take up your normal MMA fighting stance if we're going to fist fight it out. All right, now put a gun in your hand. Aim it like you're aiming down range. This is your normal fighting stance holding a gun, right? Yes. All right, let me take this bad boy away. Put your hands together. Don't let me push you back. 
Now this is a true fighting stance. Notice his legs are opened up to distribute his weight. I can't really push him over. Real fighting stance. So as you can see, no matter how far you lean into the gun and with body armor on, that stance is doing nothing for you. So for my version of the stance, let's cut to a range video I made just the other day. We'll explain my stance. Let's roll it right now. All right, so this is my fighting stance or shooting stance. Now I'm almost six foot three, so my center of gravity is higher. So I do blade out probably longer than the average shooter. It's all based on your height and your center of gravity. So non-firing leg, I like to kick forward and I have a slight bend in it, but really my firing leg is posted back, uh, kind of like an outrigger, and I actually lean back on it, back straight, shoulders generally squared the target, but I am slightly bladed. I'm not worried about plates to the front. I'm worried about putting, you know, fast and accurate shots on the enemy before he shoots me. C-clamp grip. My thumb is on top of the rail, but I like a relaxed elbow. So I blade out and I'm supporting 90% of the gun with my non-firing arm against my shoulder, pulling it in. And I sit back into my shooting stance. And from here, I can drive the gun. Uh, so... Again, I'm six foot three. I really like to blade out. That's just me. If I was doing an MMA fight, I'd stand the same way, sitting into the gun. Not how you've seen a lot of army videos and how the army loves to teach, which is feet parallel, butt down, and leaning into the gun in hopes of, you know, recoil. And you just flat out look silly, and this does nothing for you. Put your shoulders over your hips, and wearing body armor, you're going to fatigue faster. So again, Here's my shooting stance or fighting stance with the rifle. So the key takeaway is, you know, to get your non-firing leg out there and, you know, your firing leg spread apart. You need to drop your center of gravity. Again, I'm 6'3". I'm a pretty skinny dude, so I really blade out. If you're a shorter, stockier dude, you don't need to blade out as far. But, you know, that is how you can absorb recoil and help drive the gun. Now, granted, you know, in... In most firefights and competitions, you'll probably be moving 90% of the time, or you should be. You shouldn't just be standing out in the open, blazing away, hoping on your speed and skill alone to save you. But, you know, shooting stance is important. And the more solid stance you have, you know, the faster splits you can have, the more accurate you'll be, and the less fatigue you'll get. Especially, you know, if you were using the army style, or I'll call it the turtle stance, you know, because you just tuck in like that, it reminds me of a turtle. Again, you're not doing yourself any favors. So go out and play with your stance. Your shooting stance should mimic your fighting stance. You know, it's just not holding a gun in your hands. If you can't get knocked over with your stance in unarmed combat, it's probably a good stance for shooting. So go out, hit the range, Play with your stance. Uh, if you have feedback, post it down below in the comments. I always check the comments. And as always, enough watching me. Go out, hit the range, work on your shooting stance, and find a stance that works for you to give you super mad splits and help you stabilize the gun. As always, I'm Jeff Gerwich, and thanks for watching.